Farming is 1% of EU's GDP. Farmers make up 1% of EU citizens. Farming subsidies make up 50% of the entire EU budget. It, it really is difficult to like put into words how much I hate farmers as a class of people. I don't think Marx could have predicted the extent to which they would be like a blight on the, the human race uh, in a post-industrialized world, you know? Uh, like it's the, like farming is essentially regressed to a kind of like hyper state subsidized feudalism where massive amounts of government money is given to uh, feudal lords who preside over massive farming companies and collectives for, for no reason whatsoever, largely because we've all just kind of expected that, you know, uh, if you're making corn or, or meat or anything like that, like you, sh you should just you should just be guaranteed to make a shit ton of money because the the market artificially lowers the uh, the cost of those goods that are made from that. I am a libertarian when it comes to farming, okay? I do unironically believe that government regulations and subsidies are killing free market competition, and I am not joking. There is no reason at all why meat or like corn products should be as cheap as they are, okay? If we gave the amount of subsidies to rice and beans that we give to corn or meat, then everybody, you would get rice and beans for free when you entered grocery stores. They would be negative money. You would enter a goddamn Ralph's or Safeway or whatever, and they would be like, please, you, you, you see like a bunch of like service workers struggling to hold all these cans of beans. Take them, please. You'd have to go in with like a big canvas bag and like run out before it overfills with all of the bags of rice and cans of beans, you know? But no, we live in the timeline where fat pig f lard Americans have gotten used to having meat three times a day every day. So no, we need to dedicate 99% of l Earth's land mass and f agriculture to feeding cows that we dope up with hormones and drugs so that we can get like relatively cheap ground up grade F meat uh, for, for lard ass Americans to chow down on. Vosh vegan arc. Yeah, my 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 way of pushing for veganism actually is uh, I just think that every hamburger should be forty dollars. You when you say farmers, what do you mean? Well, I'm talking about the people who own the farms. Like there are farmers and farmhands who work in it, but farmer usually refers to the people who own the farms and the property, like business owner. That I like my bacon too much. We are turning your ass into bacon, one angry pagan. We are feeding you to the device. Okay. We are, we are, we are feeding you into the device and slicing you thin and smoking you and salting you, and you you will be the bacon. There's literally a cave in Arkansas that's filled with cheese because of how much a surplus of milk is produced in the United States. Well, if you don't know the half of it, they all be, uh, buy brand, uh, they buy brand 10, brand new, $5 million tractors every December, then claim about not making enough money when all their living expenses are paid by the farm. They write it off in taxes, never pay a dime in their loans because they revolve every year and drive new cars every year. Nice. We make so much milk that during the pandemic, milk companies were dumping milk into farmland because it was cheaper to throw it away. Yeah, it's bad. It's not good. It's not the farmers, it's the large companies that leech off of them. Yeah, but that's what I mean by far. When I say farmers, I mean the people who own the farms, not like regular farmhands. Also, it, it's, it's often like a two-tiered thing where farmers are like basically the corporate middle manager equivalent. A fifth of Dutch millionaires are farmers. Ugh. Say farm owners then. That's what farmer means. That's what the, the term for people who work the farm is farm hand. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's because we still have like a feudal understanding of farming in the common language where it's like a farmer is someone who works the land. Not really. No, farm hands do. Uh, farmers just own the farms. You know, uh, obviously there are farmers who also work the land, but much in the same way that there are business owners who also do work in the business. You know, there's a bourgeois proletarian distinction there. Who made you fat? I did by giving him food. We've been propagandized to think farmers are these overall wearing guys with pitchforks tilling the land by hand. Yeah, and they get that's they do that on purpose. The idea that the people who own these farms are like these hyuk hyuk straw hat mother is how they get away with what they do with their insane wealth and government subsidies. You know, it's the the idea that they're all like salt of the earth, whatever's. No, they're not. For the most part, they be, especially in America, they benefit from migrant labor. They threaten to call ICE on uh, like they underpay, uh, you know, um, migrant labor that like undocumented immigrants and they threaten to call ice on them if they act up or ask for better treatment or pay or whatever else they withhold wages they like it they're plantation owners and they own more land than any plantation owner ever did mount vernon you know washington's uh slave plantation didn't have anywhere near as much land as your average goddamn like modern farmer farming company you know like texan ultra rancher or whatever like it's it's massive
The Dutch Farmers Party is super anti-immigration, but specifically makes an exception for the kinds of immigrants their companies rely on. Ah. My family's farm fell apart due to inability to fund, keep it going. No, not all farmers are giant hyper-corporate farmers for Delmont Vosh. The Zimaj Cap, you're speaking from personal bias. If I talk about business owners and the way business owners act, that doesn't change the fact that there are lots of small business owners in America who, like, do have their businesses fall under, you know? The whole thing, the whole reason your family farm fell apart is because of a system of corporate accumulation in farming, where it used to be that, like, people would just have their family farms, but over the past, like, century or so, there's been this massive consolidation, the same as basically all business, really, you know? But, like, if I make that point about modern business, it wouldn't be a rebuttal to say, like, hey, my parents used to run a mom and pop shop before it went under. You know what happened to the land of your family farm? The land of the family farm that you lost, that you don't get to have anymore? What, do you think it lies fallow? No, of course not. It's been bought up by a farming cooperative or collective or business, hasn't it? I bet you it has. A lot of them call themselves cooperatives or collectives, when in reality they're basically just like the Mondragon type of cooperative, where it's just a bunch of like little businesses that all have like massive, you know, you know, uh, not tariffs, what's the term? Beefs? No. No, the like... Tiths. I was thinking t tiths. Or tithes? T uh, that thing. What is a tiff? Yeah, that. That's what a lord is? Yeah, well, that's the point that I'm making. Tithe? Tithe. Okay, you don't know shit about farming. I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, stoner. Thank you for singling yourself out like that. You thought you, you thought I wouldn't see, huh? Okay, what exactly don't I get? Uh, what did I say that was incorrect? Is it about the consolidation of farming land to a smaller and smaller number of companies? Because that's objectively true. I don't know if you could argue with that. Is it the fact that uh, farmers get a bunch of subsidies? I don't know how you could argue that. Is it the fact that a lot of farming collectives or cooperatives operate in the Mondragon sense, where they're not actually owned by the workers, but are rather just a collection of farms that all like give their dues to the one big central company and therefore are basically just like franchised farms? What what did I what did I say that's wrong, Stoner? I want to learn. I just want to learn. I don't think I'm going to learn, guys. That corporations basically rent the farmland. You're a slave to the loans you take out. But isn't that, isn't that what I'm saying? If the corporation is renting the farmland, that means the corporation owns the farmland. If they're renting it to you, like this is directly comparable to, well, first of all, it's sharecropping, basically. But second of all, it's like franchising or it's, 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 it's like comparable to the way landlords operate. Like, I don't think that's, I don't think I said anything that contradicts that. I think it's especially egregious. Look it up, Jesus Christ. Oh, you. What do you mean, look it up? I was right. You didn't say anything. You imagined I said something you disagreed with uh, because you're a stoner, because weed has rotted your brain, because you've smoked the devil's lettuce. It, is t it has robbed you of your faculties. You are lost. You are confused. Okay? Sober up, my friend. I'm, I'm giving you a weak hiatus, okay? I want you to find your life again, all right? The devil's drug uh, shall, shall not take root once more in your mind, all right? I, I believe in you. What is it with people? Vosh, you're so stupid, you're wrong. And then I ask how I'm wrong and they're like, eh. what do you mean? Shut up, Thank you, God.